Butcher's death is one of three recent cases where police officers shot and killed African American men in this country. Police in North Carolina and California under scrutiny for their public response. Tulsa has remained peaceful. A nationally known civil rights attorney told Katie Wisely Tulsa could be the model for change across America. I think it's always been happening, but because of the advent of technology, we're now getting documentation of it. It, attorney Ben Crump says, is what he considers police brutality against people of color. He and Tulsa attorney Demario Solomon Simmons, who represents Terrence Crutcher's family, says the video of Crutcher's encounter with police is forcing people to discuss lingering racial tensions. You all can conclude what's on the video. It is there in vivid live color. Officer Betty Shelby's attorneys say she feared for her life when she fired a single shot, striking Crutcher in the lung. That looks like a bad dude, too. Solomon Simmons and Crump say that fear is part of what they refer to as implicit bias built into criminal justice and American society. And even now, Ben and I, we can be dressed in our suits and have our law licenses. And I can tell you, when the police pulls either one of us over, we're fearful for our lives. And so we have to get into a subservient, docile stand, um, demeanor, even though we know what our rights are. Can you imagine having to live it every day of your life? That's something that many outside our community can't fathom. But it's something Crump and Solomon Simmons say That's must be addressed. <laughs> Crump has seen cities erupt in violent protests after cases like Crutcher's, but not Tulsa. It is about transparency, and we applaud the Tulsa yep. city leaders for yep. being transparent. But the other part of gaining that trust and earning that trust is accountability. Katie Wisely, two works for you. The Crutcher family attorneys have not said that Crutcher's shooting was racially motivated. They say that officers of color have also shot people of color. Their hope is for this case to help law enforcement identify and address racial bias. You can watch the entire interview online at KJRH.com.